So I'm going to go over what I wrote on my beautiful piece of opportunity paper. And, uh, you know, I'll start off kind of setting up the tone. Um, I'm 35 years old right now. And, uh, well, in this, not right now. I mean, if I looked like this and I was 35, that's awesome. Um, but I wrote down occupation, nothing. Uh, I thought it was really cool. Someone was like, hey, you know, the way you know if you're wealthy or not is if when someone asks you if you're wealthy, if you give a known occupation, you're not wealthy. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You don't have to agree with that. I just thought it was funny and I thought it was cool. So that's what I wrote down. I was like, I do nothing. I don't have to work for my money because now it works for me. So cool. Um, as far as cars go, I drive a 2020 Tesla Roadster, matte yellow with black leather interior and yellow stitching. Probably be, yeah, it would be a 10 year old car by then, but um, I don't know. That's the car that I'm obsessed with right now. Um, and I put the philanthropist at heart. So, um, you know, 35 years old, uh, I would like to start a family at that point, you know, be married and start having kids. And well, my wife would start having the kids, not me. I would help. You guys know how that works. Um, you know, uh, but really, you know, kind of take it a step back for those 12 years, you know, from now until 35, really that time's going to be spent defining my family's legacy. And so I, I'm defining this in a couple of different ways. The first is financial reservoirs. Um, what that means is that, you know, financial education is so key. I think there's a serious lack in financial education in our current world. And for me, I want to make sure that my family doesn't worry about paying the electric bill or where that next dollar is going to come from. But instead, how are they going to spend that dollar to benefit mankind? So two different ways of looking at money, and I, I, I want to make sure that I define that very clearly that, you know, money's there. It's a question is, how are you going to spend it to benefit mankind? Because I don't believe in just giving money to charity. That's not, that doesn't do anything in my opinion. It's a matter of, you want to give to charity, give back. Physically give back. Actually see your money work and go to work. That, I think, is how you find true true fulfillment and, and purpose. Because then you, you can just, you know, writing a check, you're buying that feeling. You're not doing anything. In my opinion, you don't have to agree with this. Um, you, know, uh, you know, again, in that legacy, and that family legacy, I want to make sure there's a special trust that takes care of all college educations, first car payments, any medical expenses. You're going to get the best doctors. I don't care if they're in China. You're going to go to China. It's going to be the airfare. Everything's taken care of. And that trust, and the trust also has a uh, an estate, uh, a house, uh, can't be sold, but it's a custom built home for anyone in my bloodline that they can go and live at for free, and it's taken care of while they you know get back on their feet, if you know they're in that situation, and you know also kind of wrote down you know I want to be the first billionaire in my family, three commas that's pretty cool. I don't really I don't actually know anyone who can write a check with three commas in it, so. Uh, that's definitely on the list and then live where my uh, clothes where the weather fits suits my clothes live where the weather suits my clothes I think that's so cool why not you know currently I'm working on opening up those 300 uh, regional vice president offices you know and then I've got 12 years for that that's gonna that's gonna be my baby my my business um, you know and, and uh, while I'm doing that, I'm also creating my personal management philosophy. You know, this is a simple duplicatable system, you know, that'll help create and shape those leaders in my organization. Um, I also wrote, you know, this could be a, a potential book in the future, potential book opportunity, again, another stream of income. So, you know, those are some of the things that I kind of lay out and that I want to see from my life um, and that I, I will see in my life because I do expect myself to get, get all of these checked off. Starting with the end in mind, I think, is how a lot of entrepreneurs think, and they have to, um, because you know, you know, entrepreneurs see something that's not necessarily there, and so I think this is a really good exercise, and I did very much enjoy this, because it, it really makes it visual for us to think of the end in mind and then work backwards. What what idea, what, you, what business, what are you going to do to get to that? So thinking like an entrepreneur in that sense, and then, uh, you know, I mean, very successful. I actually did this, uh, as you guys see, I did this with uh, my team yesterday and, and they loved it. Uh, we kind of created a vision storyboard, so I kind of took it a step further, cut up some magazines, so it was kind of fun, so you'll see in a second. 